Warning, the following video is performed by a trained professional. It is meant for educational purposes only. Please do not attempt to try anything you see here. Enjoy. Hey everybody, Dan from South Isle Computing here today. And uh, in the shop, we got a Toshiba satellite. What do we got here? C655-S5082. Uh, we got it from a customer, and basically they were uh, not happy with the performance. So um, we kind of, you know, do the, the standard solid state upgrade here. But in this case here, this particular model, as you see here, only has an Intel Celeron 2.2 um, gigahertz processor. Uh, the bad news is it's not the greatest processor, as well as it only has a single core. So... Nowadays, if uh, your laptop doesn't have at least two, your performance is really going to suffer. So, um, you know, I sometimes tell my customers, you know, it may not even be worth investing the money into this because nine times out of ten, you can't upgrade the CPU. But, um, we have to go do a little lookup on this particular model, and uh, it turns out you can. So, we're going to be replacing that Intel Celeron 2.2 uh, gigahertz there with a... Intel Core 2 Duo, uh, check my notes back here, uh, T8300, whoops, I hit the wrong button there, but uh, what I was trying to say, we're going to replace that single core uh, Intel Celeron processor 2.2 gigahertz with a Intel Core 2 Duo uh, processor, it's a T series, um, I can't exactly remember what it is right now because I don't have my notes, but uh, no big deal. Uh, we're going to do a benchmark. We're actually going to do two. We're going to do the solid state uh, right off the, the bat and do a speed comparison on startup time. And then after that, uh, we're going to do it again with the CPU. We're going to notice the most significant boot type in increase with the solid state drive. But I have a funny feeling the upgraded processor is also going to help with that. So, um, yeah. Let's uh, let's head right into it. We're gonna clone off that uh, solid state drive and then do the benchmark. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We're gonna do the current benchmark as is with a clean uh, Windows 7 uh, Home Premium install. So here we go. So about one minute and 12 seconds. Again, this is still with the single core uh, processor and the traditional hard drive. Uh, and that's, uh, you know what, we'll try doing it with the solid state real quick. And then we'll do it also with the um, uh, uh, dual core processor. Alrighty, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, just the solid state was done, uh, not the processor yet. And I wanted to see uh, what kind of, uh, you know, speed difference is going to be on boot up with both of them, but this is gonna yield the faster startup time um, in general because of the drive. It's uh, basically the biggest limitation of this machine, but alrighty, here we go. About 22, 23 seconds, not bad at all. Alrighty, we're gonna do the uh, time lapse now on the CPU upgrade, we'll be back.
Okay, as you saw, the CPU, uh, we got it installed, and um, now we're going to do the benchmark with the solid state and the upgraded processor and see what the, if there's any difference. So let's get this guy awake, and here we go. Huh. About two, uh, 19 to 20 seconds, so we'll say two seconds. Uh, uh, startup increase not not too bad um, and to give you proof here that we actually upgraded the CPU I'm going to go over here and um, there you have it it's now an Intel Core 2 Duo a T8300 series at 2.4 gigahertz um, and something new that we're going to try doing so you at home can compare and see what your uh, your laptop falls under. Um, I'm going to be doing Nova benches, and um, yeah, let's go ahead and run it. And you guys at home can compare it to your system to this and see where you stand. So uh, we'll speed up uh, this uh, for you right now. Okay. So, for all you uh, playing at home, this uh, particular laptop with its upgrades and everything else got a Nova Bench score of uh, 368. Um, I'll also post the results in the, uh, the description below, but uh, there you have it. Alrighty, folks, if you like what you saw here, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. This is Dan from Southpaw Computing saying until the next time.